All right, guys, we're going to do some basic matrix operations today. It should be a pretty easy day for you. Let's get going. First thing we're going to do is add matrices. Now, one rule about adding matrices, you can only add matrices if they have the same dimensions. This matrix, this first matrix, is called a two-by-two two matrix, and this one is also because it has two rows going this way and it has two columns going that way. Those are called dimensions. They must have be the same size in order to add the matrices. And it's so easy. What you do when you add them you just add straight across. The numbers inside are called elements. You just add the three and the negative two. You add the negative four and the nine. You add the two and the one, the eight and the four, and there you go. That's really all there is to it. Addition of matrices, just make sure they're the same size, same dimensions. Uh, subtraction works the same way, but before we do that, if you notice there's a number in front of both of these matrices, those numbers are called scalars. This is called scalar multiplication. Before you add or subtract, if there is a scalar, you must first multiply that scalar through. So I'm going to go 4 times 3, 4 times 7, 4 times negative 1. Same thing on the bottom row, multiplying by 4. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the 2. Notice I didn't change the sign. I'm actually going to multiply by 2 just to keep my sign straight for me. I'm just multiplying through by 2 right here, like that. Now, once I do that, they have the same dimensions. I should have checked that first. This was a 2 by 3. This one's a 2 by 3. You always do rows first. It has two rows going this way. Three columns going that way. They're both two by threes. Now just subtract straight across. 12 minus 4 is 8. 28 minus negative 18 is 46. Negative 4 minus 28. 0 minus negative 6. 16 minus 14. 32 minus negative 4. And there you go. So that slide had a couple things on there. <clears throat> Again, scalar. The number in the front is called a scalar. Scalar multiplication. Do that first. Check dimensions. Make sure they're the same. Do the scalar, then just subtract, just like we did the addition a second ago. All right, again, I, I put a whole slide here for a scalar. I, I guess I forgot that. So just, if there's just a scalar, you just multiply through. 8 times 4, 8 times 9, 8 times negative 2, 8 times a half, 8 times 4, 8 times 3 fourths. And you got it. All right, matrix equation. Um, I forgot a parenthesis here. I just noticed that as soon as I saw that. I noticed there's a parenthesis missing right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the left-hand side as far as I possibly can, and then I'm going to set it equal to the right-hand side. So watch what happens here. The two stays outside for now. What I'm going to do first is what's inside my parentheses, and that's addition. So I'm going to add the two matrices. They're both two by twos. So I would get, if I add those, I would get 3a minus 7. Can't combine those. 11 minus 6 is 5. Um, 4 plus 11 is 15. 6 plus 5d, I can't add those either, so I'm going to leave it like that. And then it equals this on this side, 22, B, C, and 52. Okay, now I still got some stuff I can do on the left. I have a scalar on the left side, which is a 2, so I'm going to multiply everything in there by 2. 6A minus 14, 10, 30, 10D plus 12. That's a 12, by the way. Equals 22, B, C, and 52. All right, now... I have a matrix on the left-hand side and a matrix on the right-hand side, and they're equal to each other. The only way they can be equal to each other is if each place value or each element is equal. So, for example, let me change colors here real quick. That B right there has to equal 10, so I know B is 10. This C right there, because it's right there, has to equal 30, so I know C is 30. Um, this 6A minus 14 has to equal 22, so I'm going to write 6A minus 14 equal 22 and I'm going to solve that real quick so a is 6 and also here down here 10 D plus 12 has to be 52 10 D plus 12 has to be 52 which means 10 D is 40 which means D is 4 so that's all we're gonna do when we solve these matrix equations we're gonna find the a the B the C and the D just by doing all the work that we know how to do already and then setting two matrices equal to each other then each part of each matrix must be equal Okay, toughest thing today. I'm going to show you two of these. Uh, hopefully it's good enough. When you multiply matrices, I wish I could say you just multiply straight across, but you don't. Um, one thing you must do first is you must check dimensions. That first one's a 2 by 2. Obviously, this one's a 2 by 2. You're only allowed to multiply matrices if your two middle dimensions are the same. Those have to be the same. Again, those have to be the same, the two middle ones. Um, the two outside ones, that two and that two, tell you what your answer is going to look like. So I'm going to get a two by two for an answer. Um, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, here's how, watch how this works. It's kind of crazy when you first see it the first time. I'm actually going to go across the first row and down the first column to get the number that goes in here. And I'm going to multiply 3 times 2 and negative 2 times 8. And I'm going to add those two. All right, so I'm going to cross and down. Now when I go to this blank, I'm going to do the same thing. It's still the first row. I'm going to cross the first row down the second column. 3 times 5 and negative two times three, and you, negative three, and you add those. Now, when I come down here to the second row, I'm gonna use the second row, first column. So I'm gonna do this row times that column. Four times two, one times eight, so I'm gonna add those. And then last row, right here, last place, I'm gonna go across the bottom row, down the bottom, the second column. Four times five is 20, one times negative three is negative three. And now all you do is you just, you just add the numbers up, and you get negative 10. 21, 16, 17, and that's it, all right? A little bit more complicated than adding and subtracting, I'll admit, all right? So, um, again, you go across, down. You keep going across, down, across, down, depending on where you are. This one, uh, this one's a two by two. This one is actually a three by three. Now, remember what I said on the last slide. Those two numbers must be the same. If those numbers aren't the same, you're in luck. You can't do it. We're gonna put NP. NP stands for not possible. It is impossible to multiply those, and there you go. We're good to go with that. Not possible. All right, I want to show you one more that works, though. All right, here we go. Last one on the video. This one's a 2 by 2. This one is a 2 by 3. And because these two numbers are the same, we are allowed to multiply those. My outside numbers are 2 and 3, which means my answer is going to be a 2 by 3, which is going to look just like this, like just like it looks up there. All right, so I will go through the process one more time. I'm going to go to get my first blank here. I'm going to go across the first, down the first. Five times four, negative one times negative four. Um, second one, still first row, but now second column. Five times one, and negative one times five. Last part, last part of the first row. I'm going to still use the first row over here, but I'm using the last column. Five times zero, and negative one times seven. Now, I'm done with the first row, so I'm done with that all together. Now, I'm going to go to the second row, first column over here. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Uh, still second row, second row, second column. 2 times 1 and 3 times 5. And lastly, last row, last column. 2 times 0 and 3 times 7. And all you do now to finish up is just add those numbers up. And you get 24, 0, negative 7, negative 4. 17 and 21. That's a 21. My marker didn't come up. All right, so we'll work on that. I know, it's, I know that's a lot. The last slide or two with the multiplication is kind of a lot. We'll work on that the most in class tomorrow. Please keep in mind addition subtraction is very easy, so it kind of makes up for it. And the equation stuff was easy, so no big deal there. We'll work the most on multiplication, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.